Hello, 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 Roses Melody here, and today I'm bringing you something that, well, it's easy to record, to be honest. Um, the first episode of Lost Age is giving me a couple minor technical difficulties, but that's okay, because I want to record this e anyway. So I bring you the Tales of Ma Jayal. I'm not sure how far I'm actually going to get into this game. I'm not very good at it. And it can be very hard. Now, I am running this with some add-ons. Um, I have an online indicator, enhanced object or compared notes to self, restart sustainable stuff. I have, a new t I have a different tile set that I haven't actually loaded in yet. But we're going to start a new game and I'll explain a bit what it's about. And yes, you can see my profile name. Whatever. So if we start a new game here. This lets us uh, choose a character. Oh, and I can see that my tile set is actually loaded. So, let's see here. I'm going to pick my name of, of course, Ms. Mick dies a lot. It's a roguelike. It's gonna happen. Okay, so you have your difficulty. I'm just gonna choose normal. Uh, and you have three different types of deaths. You have exploration mode, which just lets you die infinite times. Uh, adventure mode lets you choose uh, a certain amount of lives. And I'm going to choose roguelike mode because that's what I'm used to. Now here we can choose our classes. And let's see... There's human, which uh, there's different types in between each, um, each, between each race. So as you can tell, like the higher humans have, um, have some bonuses, but so do the, but the, uh, Kornak actually have no bonuses, have no stat modifiers, but they get gain a category point. And also, like, you can see, like, everyone has their own different things. Uh, there's the Shaloran Elves. Which, you know, speed boost, and they have, they, they're definitely a magical race. And the Thalor, the Th Thaloran Elves, they're definitely more physical. They also have a 35% experience penalty, let's not. Uh, halflings, they're thieves. They're thieves. And dwarves. And because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a dwarf. <laughs> let's just, let's just get right down to it. I'm gonna be a dwarf. And, um, and I'm gonna choose a warrior. You know, you, you have warrior, rogue, mage, they're, you know what those are. Um, oops. Uh, but then you also have wilders, which are, well, it says basically there are they're one with nature. So we can do a stone ward and I have that. And you could also be accursed. Let's not. Let's just be a, a dwarven berserker. And actually, I'm going to change my name here. For the one person who will get this. And that means I'm going to be a male dwarf, actually. And let's just jump right in. Okay, this, this dumps you right into choosing your uh, skills. Also, this game has pretty good music. I will say that. See, I don't have the technique. See, I can't get any of these because I don't have the category unlocked. You can tell because it's not green. So what I do want to do... Let's see here. Stunning Blow. War Shout. Rush. I want to get some Rush. And... Vitality. And I also get... Oh, yeah, I have three points. I thought I only had two. Wow, okay. It's been a little while. Um, and weapons mess. Oh, I have no generic points left. You'll notice, like, this side of the table is generic. 
you get one generic talent point and you get two class points. So I have to choose something from one of these four. Because I can't open any of these because I don't have any talent points. I don't have any category points, basically. So, let's see. That needs... I need to be level four for that. Yeah, for any... I'm going to take a quick recovery. We are going to bump up my strength a little bit. I'm mostly going to be focused on strength and constitution. There we go. Now we don't have, I can't unlock more inscription slots because I don't have any category points. And prodigies I've never used before because I've never lived that long. Hit escape so you can accept your changes. We are a member of the proud but secretive race of dwarves. We are from the Iron Throne. We've been sent to investigate the old fortress of Reknor, which has been overrun by orcs. Fantastic. Upon arriving, most of our team has died. And now we must crawl back to the Iron Council to report what we saw there. Only, only myself and Norgan, a fellow dwarf berserker, have survived. But the orcs will not let you go easily. You sworn that once you reach the Iron Council safely, you will take on a life of adventure looking for fame and treasures of old, or pretty pictures to paint away from all those orcs, because that's going to go well. Okay, so just really quickly showing you. Uh, to, ch to turn your tile set on, you basically go to graphic mode, and then you select your style, which mine is old RPG. And as you notice, we're actually right next to an orc warrior. Whoop. Okay, uh, mouse, why'd you do that? I, oh, that's right, I control using my num key. Die. Haha, -ha. fantastic. Now, basically, what you can do is you have different, um, you have different skills. Because I'm a good distance away from all these fellows, like the green worm masses, I'm actually going to use Rush and use that to charge in. And hopefully not die. I said hopefully not die. Phew! Die. Thank you. Now again, I use the numpad to control because that makes it easier for me to hit diagonals. Let's see if I recall correctly. Not the G key. R? Okay. Um, the R key is your rest key. Five just, I think, lets you sit for a turn. B F. Okay, C is your character sheet. I'm actually going to look at the key bindings for a moment. There is an auto explore button, and it is beautiful once I figure out what it is. Uh, toggle UI is that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Auto-exp- Thank you. So if you hit your Z key, you auto-explore until you come across a monster. But you notice, you also, um, rest before- you rest before you start the exploration. Now there's an- there's an orc soldier. If you look on our mini-map, it's above us. That- that. Uh, I'm gonna use that to stun the sucker. And you notice my attacks actually have cooldowns. Moving. Uh, let's see here. Now we do have a regeneration infusion, which I'm going to activate here. Ah, uh, yes, I'm still on cooldown. Please die. There we go. More auto exploring. See, now this is our way down. And actually, we are going to want to go down here. But first, I want to get an iron mace of erosion. Let's see what that is. Now, you notice actually, that just dumped right into our box. 
our transmogrification box. This is actually something you have to unlock. I've played the game some before unlocking the transmogrification chest. It turns it into money when I leave the floor. Now if I hit control, you notice this is this is actually weaker. This is weaker than my uh, current greatsword. So it can stay in the box. There we go. Kill that thing. Kill that thing. I had to remember to use rush. I tend to forget about it. Fantastic, an archer. Thankfully, archers are not too tough. Like, they can't really take a hit. And actually, what I'm going to do... Okay, no. Uh, that little heartbeat sign down there is a sign that I'm actually connected to the internet. Okay. We're going to... Done that sucker. One. There we go. And you notice I have that little, uh, uh, I have a recovery effect on me. Okay, that's cool. This game is actually, um, you can play it for free. I currently, I have the Steam version because I've basically supported it for a few years now. Okay, give me a sec to think here. There we go. We get a fungal rough leather, leather sling, which has also ended up in the box. Let's check this here now. Now, I'm not actually wearing any boots, so I'm going to take these out of the chest and move them to my normal inventory. I don't really need the sling, though. I'm not going to be a ranged fighter here, like, at all. I will, however, wear these boots of tirelessness. Which, hey, they increase my maximum encumbrance, which is actually pretty nice, because you're going to notice your encumbrance... There we go. Okay. Ooh. Phase door rune of the sneak. That's interesting. And I'm actually trying to keep my cohort alive here. Mostly because there's an achievement for it. It's an achievement I've already got, but there's an achievement for it, so it's nice. Plus, isn't it the right thing to do to keep your traveling companions alive? Don't answer that the person I know who will say something generally probably pretty brutal. See, now if you notice how the edge of this is red, that means it's too far for me to actually pull this off. However, now I can. There we go. Stunning blow. This is bad. Okay, I've leveled up, but I don't want to level up right this moment. Mostly because vitality is available. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. And now that we're done that, you see this arrow up here. It means I've leveled up. So I'm going to pop into here. I have a generic point and a class point. I want to take some weapon mastery here. And I would like to take, uh, we're going to increase our stunning blow and increase our strength and constitution a little more. Ah, yes. And you notice they are leashed together and Norgan has leveled up, but I can't really control anything he does. 
Uh, Rush is still on cooldown. Woohoo! Got a, got a jab. Whoop. And I pick this stuff up now. A Vat Ash Vile Staff and a Copper Ring, which I don't believe does anything, actually. Why is everything dumping in my chest, anyway? So, let's see. Potent Ash Vile Staff. Don't want it. Don't want it. I will, however, keep the phase door rune. I'll show you what the ch chest does when I get to it. Mm, a little too far to get a good, uh... That's a bit better. There we go. And I believe new stuff doesn't spawn, so it's actually kind of beneficial to just take out the entire floor. Yeah, you'll notice, because I've explored everywhere there is to explore, I can go down a floor. And yeah, when I leave this floor, everything in this chest is going to turn into money, and I don't need any of this stuff. So we go down a floor. Also, I'm not used to not being able- for some reason I didn't think I was who I was. Ooh! Balanced Iron Great Maul of Paradox. That is, in fact, better than our sword. So, we're gonna wear that. Because everyone needs a giant freaking hammer. It's better. Okay, there's a shield that we're not going to use because, as a Berserker, we have a specialty in two-handed weapons. But yeah, because once you kill everything on a floor, everything is all taken care of. There's no point in really leaving anything alive, and not to mention, I really want the experience right now. There we go, a shimmering elm star staff, which I don't need because I am not a mage. Oh yeah, the enemies here are basically just pushovers, honestly. And something we haven't gotten into, actually, is because I'm, um... Because I'm doing a lot of resting by... because I'm using the auto-explore function... We have... we basically have two stats as a Berserker. We have, um, health and stamina. The stamina. Let's see, anything else? Yes. I keep mistaking myself for Norgan. It's kind of hilarious. There we go. Alright, we have an orc warrior down here. Let's see... Ah! And you'll notice there's nothing else here. 
So let's take a look at our items. Uh, mossy Mind Star, we don't really need. Iron War Axe, it's weaker than we got. We're not. I want to. Ooh! I'm going to wield that, thank you. That, however, is going to be transmogrified. That I'm going to wear. Uh, the gems I'm going to transmogrify, actually. I have no real use for them. I want to keep that. This brass lantern I can um, get rid of because I have a much better one. Okay, need to hold on to those. You can't. I don't think you can't transmogrify anything in there. Anything else I want? Nope. It's everything. Ah, and we leveled up again. Let's see what we can do here. Uh huh. I'm gonna get more vitality. And. I'm going to, um. boost that more. Focus that level on fight, on a um, constitution. And down we go. Watch this. This is actually that's actually this is actually named boss. And down he went. Ooh. We got the Rod of Recall, which is very important. And this is a short floor. We're just gonna go down to the to that. Let's take a look. Okay, this is a shield. We don't use shields. Uh huh. Nope. Ah, this is better than our than our thing, so we're gonna get that sword again. I don't know what that does. But I'll hold on to it for now. And that gets us to the um, to here, and we got an achievement. Last time I did this, it was on adventurer mode, so I really don't care about any of the weapon. Let's actually—I think I, I'm gonna check the armor shop actually. See if there's anything I want here. Cancel. Do I have iron armor trading training? Yes, I do. Uh huh. Ah, uh, yes, I want berserker rage so much right now. And that. And more strength. There we go. Yeah, as you can tell, you can get places by clicking if you want. Now. See what I'm wearing. I have no helmet on. Okay, yeah, we're gonna basically try and get as much armor as I can pull off. I only have 45 gold, so... Yeah. Mm. 
I can't afford much at all right now, actually, so I'm just gonna get this helmet. And whip it. Because it makes me look cool. And look at all these dwarves on pedestals. Okay, I believe where I want to go now. Whoop! Nope, don't care. I'm sure there's a plot somewhere. Where does this one go? Deep Bellow. Okay, actually, I'll go try and talk to people. I can't talk to people. Fantastic. But anyway, as I was saying before, you can actually play this game for free. I guess I am going to Deep Bellow. Because, uh, yeah. There's nowhere else to go. Wait, what's... What's that down in that corner? Sorry, mild distraction. Ah, yes. This goes to the world map. Uh, yeah, there's a couple little problems with my... Let me just change my tile set, actually, here, because this tile set is slightly outdated. Like, very outdated. So I couldn't quite see what I was doing there. I really like the uh, old RPG one a lot better. It looks so much nicer to me. Um, okay, we will go there and see what we can do. Oh dear. They're screaming. Not far from me. Oh, that's not good at all. Uh, let me see what I have here. I have Berserker Rage, Warshout. Um, okay, I think I can get this guy down. Oh, I made it. Nice. We got the cursed guy. Woohoo! Free gold! Well, that wasn't that hard. Yeah, we can't get into any of these buildings, I don't think. Yeah. And out of here. Ooh, arcing iron battle axe. That's eh, than what I got. Free money. Oh, that's right, I did level up. I'm leveling up, like, a lot right now. I want that. Uh... I want um There we go. 
accuracy, and I have two more class points. Uh, precise strikes. Actually, I'm gonna double my precise strikes up. Yep. Actually, let's see, do I have any? Oh, okay, so there's actually a quest where I can go to the deep below. So I'm actually going to go back into Iron Council. Because then I want to go to the deep below. This looks so much nicer and, um, old RPG to me, but whatever. Okay, actually, yeah, I'm going to swap it back right now. Because this is actually kind of painful to me. I mean, I could just go ask you for the True Dwarf Fortress experience, but let's not. Alright, let's go. Okay, I guess I do want to go back to modern. I'm sorry about this, guys. I just... Ugh. There needs to be some more tile sets because I do not like the standard tile set. Not one bit. But yeah, see, this lets us actually see all the mushrooms. Okay. Auto explore. I love auto explore. I really do. Okay, that thing's down. There we go. Okay, that was fun. What's that thing? It's a shadow. It's gone now. As it should be. Ooh, there's a scroll or something over here. Ten days into initial site survey. Hmm, recent tremors have opened new chasm, but we must work cautiously to ensure they're stable before conducting major operations. Oh yes. Proceeding while it's start with supports being put in place and no flammable gases detected. Mm hmm Some shared tool of relics have been found, perhaps great profit to be had here. High margins on Shellor and Market. Yes, yes. Some miners say they feel ill. Mm -hmm. The Drem fools have been have likely been gorging on too much meat. We'll deduct it from their pay. Yes, yes. So obviously something is going on here. Okay. We got a balanced iron battle axe. How is that looking? It's weaker than what we got. This has a lot of bonuses on it. I can at least put on a pair of gloves. And you actually notice. Just putting on a putting on a piece of armor actually takes a turn. It's just usually not as obvious. You go away. There we go. I'm slightly out of range. I can't see. Ow! 
I kind of have to be careful about my infusions. If I use them a little too recklessly, I just won't have it when I need it. And also, trust me, the game does get harder, as judged by the fact I haven't gotten much... Oh, that's the exit. Okay, then. Everything's gone. Oh, that's not good. Fusion. Okay. Huh, the chasms go deep. More relics have been found. Will be mighty profitable. But secret treasure is even better. Gold, beautiful, lovely gold, buried deep, so deep. Have kept it hidden, sealed. Looks like the remains of a giant throne. I touched it, yes. I even put my lips to it. Okay. Must stay focused. Much work to be done. Miners are rowdy. One of the drum fools went mad and killed himself with a pickaxe. Messy business. Must restore order. More shuttle artifacts found. Possibly even remains of weapons. Imagine the prophet. We'll keep them hidden. The dreams say yes. The darkness secret waiting for the right time. Hmm, that fellow's blood was so red, spilling on the cavernous floor. I wonder where they buried him. My mouth, it wants to taste. Well, s um... Well! That was a thing. That happened. Let's kill the bee. There we go. that thing out of the way. Okay, there we go. I'm still on cooldown on that. Oh god, this is bad. Phew! That was fun. And you notice, actually, when I go to do my auto explore, it stops me every time I take damage. Okay, hostile spot is to the south. Not anymore. Ow! That hurt. That also hurt. You would you kindly die? Thank you. Yeesh. Interesting terrain. Okay, this can only go well. go. Those things like to split and it's really annoying. Iron pickaxe. Ooh, a great mall. I thought I saw a, a thing over this way, actually.
There we go. Let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, Insidious Iron Battle Axe of Erosion. Nope. 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 Yes! Equip that. Nope. 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 Okay. Uh, have to be careful here. Get some regen going. Oh, this is bad. And I died. I was actually trying to get out of there. But yeah, that's a look into uh, Tales of Ma Jael. I probably was not ready to take on that guy. Oh well. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time, alright?